What's up everybody? It's Craig from Nine Bolt Games and today I'm going to be doing another 20 minute playthrough but for those of you who are new I'm going to be a <laughs> asshole and <laughs> not finish that properly. I'm going to do a uh, 20 minute playthrough of Silent Hill 3 from the Silent Hill HD collection. Um, yesterday I did a Silent Hill 2 one the first 20 minutes so this one obviously I'm going to do the first 20 minutes. Um, just basically a comparison of the new voiceover and what I feel is you know, the old ones. Like yesterday's, I will not talk through the cutscenes because I hate it when people do that. I hate it. Especially since we're trying to analyze what the new voice sounds like. Um, <clears throat> I'll just say this right off the bat. I have the top rated comment on the Silent Hill HD collection from Konami, the trailer. I have the top rated comment, and if you came here for that, I realize that <laughs> in Silent Hill 3, you cannot change to regular voice uh, the original voice or the new voice, it's all in new voice. So, um, yeah, I was wrong. I apologize. But Silent Hill 2, you can switch. I did play that yesterday. Um, so let's get right into it. Let's get, let's get me shutting up here. Um, yesterday I got a decent amount of way into Silent Hill 2. Um, almost a quarter of the way through, technically. That game is actually pretty short. Um... I don't know how far I'm going to get into Silent Hill 3 simply because it's very cutscene heavy in the beginning. Yeah, Silent Hill 3 is, is uh, it's very cutscene heavy. So, we'll see how it goes. I'm very curious to hear the new voices. You and I are pretty much going to hear it at the same time if you haven't seen it yet. Um, obviously, if you don't want any spoilers, there's actually not very much in here. Like I said, I'm only going to the first 20 minutes and that's essentially just... Oh, I love that Valtiel. You know, we'll talk, we'll show you this, just because I love this trailer so much. This trailer totally embodies what is Silent Hill. Plus, I like Mary Best voice. We're not going to do that. You can find that all day online. <laughs> I only got 20 minutes left on my camera, that's why. Uh, normal, normal. For those interested, I will be doing playthroughs uh, in the entirety of both these games. This one will come way later, obviously. Silent Hill 2 will come first. They improved that. Really good job. Where am I? <laughs> Jerking that camera. Oh, you know what? this in the last video too, I always walk around control reverse. Those effect off, thank you. Uh, yeah. I did that. Thank you. Look 
of that shit. It looks exactly like it did on PC when I played it <laughs> when it first came out. <laughs> I'm not as keen on this one as uh, as I am on Silent Hill 2. I don't remember shit, actually. But I can tell you this. Spoiler alert. You can die at any point right now, and it's okay. played this game before knows this. It's hard to, to not walk towards the edge like that. I hate that. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I wanted the roller coaster to hit me. If you make it all the way to the end, the roller coaster hits you off. really fucking good actually. I don't know how it's translating on camera, but it does look pretty good. Until after the phone conversation, but I don't like the voice. I do like the music in this game. talking to you. Hold on. There's someone that wants to meet you. Just let me have an hour. And no, a half hour of your time. <sighs> My daddy always told me not to talk to strangers. This is very important. It's about your birth. I'm not interested. Following me? 
Do I have to scream? Sorry. I'll wait here. I guess it wasn't the frog you went, Sorry! <laughs> That's what he sounded like in the, in the original three, so I guess it's not that bad. Sorry! <laughs> like Louis Armstrong. Uh, I should have done it. If you knock on that door, someone knocks back. Draw distance is uh, substantially better. I'll probably play to the first enemy encounter. Keep forgetting where that map is. It's not there. Like I said, I, I have not played this one nearly as much as I played two, so everything's not fresh in my brain. I did forget to tell people though. Um, yeah, it's still the tank controls in this game. Maybe second enemy encounter. Because this is the first one. What the hell is this thing? There's actually a couple of sound glitches in there. I don't know if um, I picked it up because I don't ever know what it's going to sound like, but um, when she was shooting, <laughs> the bullet sound was actually delayed. By the way, there's a lot of people who, a lot of Silent Hill people who think that this is Angela from Part 2, by the way. This is how they believe Angela ended. Maybe I'll just make it to the little purple squealers. That one. Or the barbecued dog. That one too. little poster. It's got Angela and James's face on it. I don't remember where the bug was. I was like, oh. How about to the <laughs> fucking sign that says exit? It becomes other world. Well, technically, this is already other world. I can't tell you why, because I'll ruin the story for you. There it is. You need salad tongs to get that key. Hold on, how much time I got? Oh, I got time. Daddy's got time. Alright. I'm still a little uncertain about this one. I'll just save for good measure. 
or I'll miss twice and then save. That tastes like a nugget. Oh, come on. You stupid pick. Where is it? That's right. I came up fucking stairs, didn't I? This middle of the mall. Dude, hello. <laughs> That's the slowest walk around you've ever seen. These are the worst enemies of all time. Not this one yet. I need to go to the goddamn bakery. Thank you. Helen's Bakery. Grab the tongs. Go back to that place I said you gotta use the tongs. Ooh. What are you looking at, lady? What are you looking at that menu? You get a flamethrower here. Right? I do believe you get a flamethrower here later on in the game. Saying that everything's fried crispy. Uh, not later in the game. Um, another playthrough. That was a long way. I know this game starts off slow. This one gets immensely creepy. <laughs> Especially when you start getting to the, uh, when you get past the train station and you start getting into the studios, people know exactly what I'm talking about. I've already played the game. That fucking mannequin rum. <laughs> it's horrendous. Big ones down here, huh? Eh? Oh no, there's a big one of those coming up. Whoever they cast to do that voice is the guy that they cast to do Douglas's voice as well. Sorry. <laughs> Fat Albert, there you go. Coming what? Because that's Maria Mary's eyes. I always like to take time because I played through these a lot. Um, you just notice certain things. Like I, I do believe this would be Eminem. <laughs> it's Mary. Um, that's actually fucking creepy. A lot of these are lighter, you know. I used to not be able to see them because they were so dark. But I did play this on PC as well as. Uh, PlayStation 2. I wish I just cheated and just got the fucking code but it didn't. You have to take these Shakespeare books and put them in the order that they want it. Hold on. The King Lear and shit. Solve this puzzle together because I don't remember this. I remember all the Silent Hill 2 ones off the top of my head but this would probably be the finale right here. No, no. I want the puzzle. Pick medium, for fuck's sake. Okay. I thought I was going to actually have a little tidbit about Romeo and Juliet, King Lear, Hamlet. Apparently not. Apparently it's just going to be easy. Uh -huh.
one, four, three. What the fuck did I just do? Two. Three. Six, one, eight, seven. So it was a ridiculously easy puzzle. I thought it was going to be something better. What was the number I just said? Tell me. I forgot. No, I didn't. They should throw confetti at you, but they don't. This is where I'll end. Um, hey, wait, what's going on? Where is everybody? Those weird monsters. They've come to witness the beginning. Same lady. The rebirth of paradise, unspoiled by mankind. What are you talking about? Don't you know? Your power is needed. How should I know? I am Claudia. So what? They change. Remember me. And your true self as well. Also, that which you must become. The one who will lead us to paradise with blood-stained hands. Claudia, right? Did you do all this? It was the hand of God. Wait! Change the shit out of that cutscene. Oh, I do believe I like this. Maybe I'll end after this. They didn't change that cutscene like, whoa. Oh, no buttons. I love this cutscene. My favorite in the game, I think. That is where I'll end it. So there you go. That is like a little opener to uh, Silent Hill 3 if you never played it before. Hopefully that gets you amped and you want to play it. Um, starts off really slow, but like I said, gets unsettling really quick, really creepy. Um, I do like it. They changed that cutscene. No, I'm actually... They didn't change it for the worse, I mean, but it was uh, enough where it was noticeable. I think they changed some dialogue to actually fit the new voices, but new voices aren't all that bad. 
I don't think that there was anything wrong with Hez's voice in the original one. They actually did have a quality voiceover. If, even if you check reviews, as much as I hate them, uh, other reviewers, I really do. Uh, <laughs> they did actually say that the voice work has improved over the other Silent Hills, but this one actually looks amazing. I think this one benefited the most out of the two for the graphical updating. Um, so stick around. Tell me what you thought about this one. If you want me to continue, um, tell me if you don't <laughs> want me to continue. But uh, sorry, was slow in the beginning. This is one of those games that, after like the first ten minutes, you notice I started to pick up and remembering things. Um, it just gets better from there. <laughs> I'll be doing going back to two, and if uh, if I get good feedback on this one, I will go back and do the rest of this one. So thank you guys for watching. Please go pick up the Silent Hill collection. Catch you guys later.